So this is great, especially for people in Norway. Because of Norway, we have the Oslo Accords. Uh, thank you for that, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, and if you detect a bit of sarcasm in my tone, it's there. Um, so Oslo, the agreement was between the Palestinians and the Israelis in 1993. And the agreement was a political one that was supposed to lead to a, a creation of the Palestinian state. We're in 2022, there's no Palestinian state, but there is an economic arm of the Oslo Agreement. It's called the Paris Protocols. And the Paris Protocols or agreements dictate that the Palestinians give their entire economic policy to the Israelis and use the Israeli currency, which is the shekel, as a legal tender in Palestine. So if Oslo is sending 100 million euros to, Palestinian, uh, to the Palestinians in the form of aid, we cannot use the euros. We have to exchange that into Israeli shekels. There's a 3% clearance fee or processing fee that the Israelis will charge us for. And then, in essence, we are buying Israel's currency, strengthening the Israeli shekel. Um, and here's a shocking statistic that you will be shocked to hear. 70% of foreign aid that is going to the Palestinians is actually spent in the Israeli economy. So having Bitcoin will alter this whole entire narrative, gives us the ability to have direct transactions with whoever we need to without a meddling authority like the Israeli occupation or a corrupt authority like the Palestinian Authority.